been feeling like, I've been feeling like, I've been feeling like I'm ready for the top. Got the pedal to the metal, I've been grinding non stop. Killing every instrumental, and I knew just what I wanted. Now I gotta go and get it, and I'm never looking back. Only looking where I'm headed, and I doubt it for a minute, trying to get another win. Well, good morning, everybody. Today we are playing the $1,500 PLO bounty thingy for 500 bucks. I don't know. It sounds kind of like a kooky, goofy, gimmicky event, but it sounds like it might be a little bit of fun. And fun is what we need. This World Series of Poker, for the most part, has not been a lot of fun. A lot of stuff going on. Um, and our intention will not be all that clear outside of today's going to be a fun experience. So whether we go build a big stack and make a deep run, that will be fun. If not, we do have a backup plan this evening to potentially get out of line Las Vegas style. I mean, you know, you do Vegas up, there's several ways to get out of line. You could go like the Phil Ivey route, which is just absolutely out of line. And then there's the Gus Hansen route, which is equally debaucherous, if that's a word. So um, we'll probably, you know, if, if things don't go well in the tournament, in, uh, ingest some alcohol for the first time all World Series, really let loose, let go. So we're not wearing the typical sweats and uh, hoodie. We're gonna go with a little something sexier, you know? The, the little meshy shirt, and of course you gotta bust out the, these are these are like sick, I, these are conversation starters as I call them, but uh, these are Christian Louboutins, right? Got these a while ago, I don't wear them very often, but uh, there's some sick shoes, and so anyway, the plan tonight, have some fun, maybe win the tournament, if not, we're, I don't know if I can bring you guys along though, because it's probably not, uh, you, it's not YouTube uh, available, it's not YouTube material anyway. Put it that way. Okie dokie, off to the pavilion room. This will be a first for us. We have not played any events in the pavilion room, but that's where we're at, so let's give you a little mini tour. Whatever. Good, how you doing? All right, deal me in. I want to bust somebody. Let's do this. What's up, people? Down. How Come are you? on, let's go. All in. Yeah, pot, pot, pot. Wait a minute. Did you get her permission for that? <laughs> we got a bounty. First bounty of the World Series of Poker, I think, ever, because I don't usually play these tournaments. Early on, I was able to bust the guy. I do have a pretty interesting hand to share with you. Uh, raised in the cutoff with the Deuce 5, 6 7 of clubs. I had the 6 7 of clubs. Button calls 250. How you doing, bud? Good. The small blind calls 250, and then the big blind calls. So there's four way action, thousand in the pot. The flop comes uh, four, five, no, sorry. Mm, yeah. Four, five, six, two hearts, one club. So I've got top two pair, um, and you know, the straight draw and whatnot, but I don't have any hearts, so not a great flop. So checks to me, I check, the button checks it back. Nice. Turn card is the eight of clubs. So now we make the straight, just the eight high straight, so we'll seven nine beats us. But I also have a straight flush draw. The big blind let out 750, and I decided here I want to gamble. I mean, it's a spot where you could flat, but I'm, I'm just like, let's go, let's go. If he's got the seven nine, so be it. I have two pair, and I have a flush draw. 
straight flush draw. So I raised the pot to 3250. Button folds, small blind folds. He calls the 3250. The river's the king of clubs. So I make the flush. He checks. I don't think he really ever has a better flush than me. I mean, it could be check raising, but I have about 6,500 in my stack. I bet 3K, looking to get a little bit of value. He folded and uh, he had the eight high straight as well. He thought about re-raising the turn. Wish he would have, uh, as it turns out, because I would have got there. But an interesting spot for PLO where, you know, you figure to have the same hand as your opponent. But the question is, what's your redraw? I felt like two pair and a straight flush redraw was plenty. So we're doing good. We got 13,675 after the first two levels. Um, you start with 7,500, so we've essentially doubled up. And uh, no drinking, you know, I don't really feel like it. Actually, no, that's not true. I do feel like getting smashed, but I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to win the damn tournament. Let's do that. All right, go ahead, Phil, take a picture. <laughs> so I got a new guy taking pictures for me right over here. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing in the PLO, buddy? Come on. 4K and chips. 4K, man. let's Lost get them. My stack. Okay. Yeah, where are we playing next year? Pittsburgh? Uh, looks like the Penguins. Buddy. All right, go Pittsburgh. <laughs> Can I get one more? Yeah, sure, I'm bud. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <It's> sorry, buddy. <laughs> this is sorry. good. <laughs> That's so yeah, funny. Yeah. yeah. You ever watch hockey? You ever heard of it? Hockey, yeah, NHL I hockey. So. I think so. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I know you're in love with the Kings. Yeah. I know you know who Sidney Crosby is? No. That's Sidney Crosby right there. Oh, yeah. nice. Sidney Crosby, that was him. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that's no hockey at all. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, officially been moved to a new table. <laughs> we got fish cakes at the table. Hi. Hello there, buddy. <laughs> Long time no play poker. Oh, I hope you got better since last time we played. <laughs> this guy's such an idiot here. <laughs> He's always been like this here. Uh, oh, here he goes. He's trying to put that back even lower. What is it? Why are we so far over here? I'm going to move you. Middle. Okay. How can you be at my table? I am so random, right? I was like, you said 118, right? Of all people that you're at the table. Okay, so now I'm going to find out if you're actually playing good or running bad. <laughs> I might go bust in this Okay. Yeah. See how he does under pressure. He calls. What do we got? <clears throat> Five's full. That'll do it. <laughs> okay, so apparently I just got bluffed in a big pot by the gentleman over there who just said, screw it, I'm going to mess around and raise me with like nothing in air. No wonder he's been losing in that PLO game he plays. <laughs> okay, now you can take a story home. You bluffed me. Good job. Yeah. Flop was 10, 10, 9. I had 10 jack, queen, 6. Checked around. Turn to 5. I bet he raises pot. River ace, spades. He bets pot and just like, ah, 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 I have nothing. Good for you. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. We are end of level 4. PLO tournament is just great, great, especially with these... You know, short stacks, like, half the field is out. We just finished level four. Um, they got a couple hours left of late reg or something. You could late reg and essentially be close to the money. Pretty nuts. We got uh, 17,800 after uh, grinding it back up after Phil Kessel decided he wanted to be a hero, right? He wanted to be a, a big hero and bluff me in a hand where it was a limp pot. Flop was 10, 10, 9, two spades. I had in small blind 6, 10, jack, queen. Five-way action for 200 um, flop. So I, so I have like the three tens flop is checked around turn is a five of clubs. Now there's two spades, two clubs. I bet 700 into a thousand Phil who limped raised to 2,600. So I almost folded right here because I figure, you know, he has a decent, he has 10, nine, a decent amount of time. And he probably has my three tens with a, with a queen kicker beat. 
but he could have some like 7, 8, 10 jack, 7, 8, 10 queen type hands too. So I have enough outs to call. If I catch a jack or a queen, I gotta be good. So I call, River's Ease of Spades, brings the, you know, the front door flush draw. I check, he, he bombs it, and I'm like, all right, you know, I guess I fold. And he like, he tried to show me his hand, but it was like too, too I don't know, kind of muffled up. And uh, he just had a pair of jacks and was like, I just wanted to do it, eh? Just had to get you one time. <laughs> well, good for you. So he's doing okay though. He's got like 12 or 15. PLO's his game, but I don't know if he's got the patience to last to day two. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, here's the situation. I do have two bounties of my own. This player is in with me. This player is in with me. I'm all in. Three way. Uh, I saw. Uh, let's see what flops. Oh, baby, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What are you going to do, huh? No? He's like, I don't know, eh? I'm going to pot it. Oh, he potted it, eh? Oh, oh. What are you going to do over there, eh? Huh? <laughs> Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> A little something, something to go with that. <laughs> okay, we are all in. This is what happens after Phil Kessel bluffs me. You gotta get it in. He, it's Doesn't more than he's got. Don't worry about that. He's got to decide if this is the one. Yeah, that, none, of that, none of this matters, my dear. I promise. And you also got a 500 dirty stack, by the way. <laughs> yeah, just leave it. Let him think. What's he doing? Is he gonna fold? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Get out. Because I can make my kings good. <laughs> we got the aces out. All right, what do you got? You got anything good? Okay, good. Because I got a pair of kings. Hello. King, king with the 910. What do you got? The flush draw with just the ace draw. Okay, all that too. Nines. Um. <laughs> that was my phone dropping. This is the World Series for me this year. Oh well. So you gotta get one of these bounty things, right? That's right. Okay, so you get that. I get to cash these out at the window. Buy drinks for this guy later. You'll be out in about 15 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, you too, Jen. Okay, so that was a weird hand. I raised it up after a couple of limps with the King King 10 9. Guy re raised. I'm super short. And uh, the, the, the other guy accidentally put in the wrong amount. Like he thought he was calling my raise, didn't see the re-raise, so he called with ace, jack, seven, four. Not a very good hand. As it turns out, the other guy did have the aces and I would have lost to him. But uh, what a big pot I would have won there if I would have held. So now we've got lots of options. Maria, who is like, she knows where all the parties are at. Um, she is doing commentary till about 11.30 this evening for on Poker Go. Um, Apparently like Kevin Hart, birthday party, something going on there, that could be fun. Other option is, Mets uh, a, seems like a very friendly young lady on the rail today um, from Australia. And she said she'd like to have a drink. So maybe we'll start with that. Maybe we'll have a drink with this uh, new friend we've just made and um, then go from there. But I think I'm gonna have to shut this phone off guys because who knows, I don't know where this night's gonna end up. Could, could end up being a late one. See ya. Man, can you believe my... Well, at least look. So I got these two things. So that means I only lost 500 bucks today rather than the 1500. So it's like $1,500 buy-in, $1,000 cash. Yay me. <laughs> Sick. No tournament tomorrow, I don't think. I'm not playing the little one for one drop. Pope, you know, uh, I think because there's another one the next day, so it wouldn't make sense. But um, yeah, Kessel wants to go out drinking too. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm not going home. That's for sure. <laughs>